All right, episode two, let's get this show on the road. Thank you very much for joining me once again for our Judea Kingdom of David achievement run in Paradorome, the Archimedes update. We just finished beating up Nabatea until they don't exist anymore, which is which is nice. And uh, yeah, now we need to get our troops back home and uh, I need to fortify some borders. Uh, so first off, over here, uh, the provincial capital is currently in Ascalon. I'm going to move that. Uh, I don't think I want to have it in Ascalon because that's on the border with Egypt. Don't want that. Don't want that at all. So we're going to pop it up here uh, in, what's this place? Iamenea. Never heard of it. It's cool. And Ascalon is going to lose its marketplace because I still don't value them very highly. I do, however, value foundries a bit more than usual. Uh, population output plus 1% is quite nice. Um... But we're not going to go for that. We're going to go for two fortresses. I'm also going to build another fortress in Mapsis. And we've got one here in Cosima. I'm going to move that to Petra. And I'm going to build another fortress down in my south in uh, Aramuawa. Nailed it. So, that's the south taken care of. Uh, we've also got a fort here in Shechem. I'm going to keep that... Uh, we're going to fort in uh, Jerusalem, of course, going to keep that. Uh, this one here is in Scythopolis. I might move that elsewhere. Maybe to Rabat Amon. Rabat Amon might be a better idea. It's already a city. I just want to keep it away from the borders as much as I can. Uh, over here, that seems dangerous. Plus, it's not... Let's move that one to Shekhem, maybe. I mean, it's hills to hills, so it doesn't make much difference. But I ran out of political influence, so I'm going to have to do that later. Um, as I was saying in the first episode, um, loyalty is a lot more difficult to work with now. You can see uh, we've got three disloyal characters now, or two almost disloyal, one disloyal. Um, Lagniniat, uh, he's... A researcher, he's got holdings, being the head of a family is also giving him plus 32.23 power base. So he's difficult to deal with. I'm going to grant him a holding. And it's going to cost me 40 ducats. And we're going to put it in Petra. Or maybe I want the, the one with the least amount of pops. To give him the least amount of uh, disloyalty. It's still 30. And I'm going to do it again. Shit, I did the wrong one there. Now he's up to 40 loyalty. Uh, that's going to go down in 10 years. That's going to be a problem again. It's probably never going to not be a problem. But uh, now that sorted you out. Uh, this guy's got no power base, so I'm not worried about him. And you've also got no power base, so I'm not worried about you either. What I am worried about is that. Fuck. Immediate. It was immediate. There's no way for me to keep you happy. That's only going to improve by 2.83. That's not enough. That is just not enough. Uh, but now we have another character rising from obscurity. Um, none of them have jobs yet. I'm going to go with Saul Kalatha. That makes him a uh, prominent family. He needs a job now. So I'm going to do is probably put him in the government... Uh, let's first see, we've got... All these guys are at 4 out of 2, so I can take 2 jobs from anywhere, really. Uh, I'm going to put 1 here. Sol Kalatha can go there. I don't want to make him a general, because then he's going to be um, disloyal, because he's got so much bloody power base. I'm also going to give you some free hands. I don't really care about your corruption. And then the other one... You're, you've got very good uh, zeal, so maybe we'll put you in the Kahn position. There we go, lovely. And you have free hands, there you go, you've got free hands now. 58, uh, you're at 46, we give you free hands. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with all of that. So, Egypt. Um, there's no one for me to declare war on, so I can't really call Egypt into any wars, but what I will do is ally all of your allies if possible. I'm already allied with Cyrenaica, who isn't actually allied with 
uh, Egypt anymore, which is interesting. He is allied with Lichian, though. So at least we've got that going for us. If he wants to attack us, he has to also attack his other ally. But it'd be really nice if there was someone in the north, like maybe uh, the Seleucids, that would ally us. It's probably not going to happen, though. It's probably not going to happen. We have one port. Um, that's nice to have. But yeah, he's got claims on me. He's got a lot of claims on me. I've got claims on him as well. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, I'm going to get another claim on Phrygia as well, I think. And claim that. And I'm also going to claim these two little city-states when I have the political influence for it. So, yeah. At least we've still got Simon Zedekai. If If I had a real general here the entire time, we'd have probably had more problems with disloyalty. It's only because I've got my ruler as... Oh, fuck. It's only because I've got the ruler uh, here that I've not had any problems. At least that's what I'm... I'm, I'm going to go with that as the reason. Uh, new Omen. What do we want? Um, well, now we have some wrong culture. We've got Macedonians, we've got Aramaics. I kind of want those to be converted. So that makes me think Esther would be good. Also, a wrong culture group happiness would be nice to get that sorted. Um, we've also got some Nabataeans and Phoenicians that want converting. That wouldn't help too much with that part. Um, conversion speed would be nice for this. Um, but obviously, we're getting that conversion speed anyway. So that five pops changing to Hebrew culture that I really want. State religion happiness would be quite nice as well. Religious advances not super useful right this second. The manpower recovery speed, getting that up to 30,000 would be pretty good. But I think what I need most of all right now is money. So we're going to go with David Jusait again. Plus two extra freemen. Can't be uh, can't be argued with, really. It's always going to be a good idea. All right, what I'm going to do as well is reorganize my army. Because I need to get something that isn't so um, weak, basically. <laughs> So what I want is another heavy cavalry. I want two extra light cavalry, and then all the rest of our money from now until we next go to war is going to be spent on heavy infantry. It has to. Uh, we need the strongest armor we possibly can. Uh, we have the inventions to make heavy infantry better. We've got two iron in the capital, uh, two horses as well. So we need heavy infantry. Uh, if we look at our cohorts are heavy infantry got plus 20 percent heavy infantry discipline that's good uh, and as soon as i manage to get uh heavy infantry cost they're going to go down in price as well my my maintenance is going to go down quite a significant amount so i think maybe what i'll do then is start drilling these guys because i really need that heavy infantry cost phrygia wants to my grain i'm gonna accept that i'm gonna accept that Two extra freemen or Egypt gets more opinion of me. I'll take the opinion. I really want to be friends with you again, please. Also, there's some prisoners. There's no way that he's going to accept me getting that for any reasonable ducketage. Uh, 65 is actually kind of reasonable, but they're not actually my prisoners, so I'm not going to care. Uh, is there anything that's going to help me here? Improve opinion maximum, maybe? Uh, Fort Defense is going to be very nice. Thank you very much. And we're going to wait as long as possible before starting our um, heavy infantry influx. Uh, 20 ducats. I like the 20 ducats. Emos. I don't know where Emos. There's Emos. Could get a granary. Do granaries have any extra uh, effects? No, it's just a food capacity. That would make Jerusalem grow a bit faster for sure. Yeah, I'm going to get a granary. My infantry and fence going up. So for six ducats. If the heavy infantry... Heavy infantry... Uh, where's the easiest way to check that? Here it is. Heavy infantry are 0.58 ducats to maintain. So that's basically, I can afford to have an army of 10 heavy infantry 
in this army. Nah, it's not really enough. I need my income to go up to be able to really afford an army to take on Egypt, who've now gone up to 50 cohorts. Oh, I'm so worried about this. <laughs> so worried. Got aggressive expansion, broke alliance. This is my opinion of Egypt. Ada's prior is gone now. Yeah, their AE is pretty heavy then, isn't it? So how does, for example, Dodecanegis feel about Egypt right now? They're fine with them. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. As long as I don't lose my alliance with uh, Lechian, I'd like to get an alliance with Thalmud as well. Just anything to keep my allies fighting here. Like, if I go to war with Egypt, Lechian will help me. I want Lechian's army coming north. I don't want them to have to go south and deal with Thamud. Right? It's, it's basically that sim uh, simple. Having Kush and Axum on side would be pretty sexy as well, to be honest. Nikian, of course, can come help. They're, they're actually still allied with Egypt. Why would you keep this alliance but not mine? What's wrong with you? I'm stronger than they are, but I like double. Uh, money, no thanks. Lose to legitimacy is nowhere near as painful. Yeah, I just need to keep stockpiling money and then... At the last second, lots of heavy infantry. Plus, small armies gain military experience faster. Well, they don't gain it faster, but you know what I mean, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's grab ourselves another claim. Let's get it on South Phoenicia. We'll get one on North Phoenicia as well, and probably Arados. Like, if we can get the fleet to get here, that's going to give us an expansion route into here. Uh, of course, you're stealing my money because you're a prick. I'm going to lose the money anyway, so I'm going to just chide him so he gains the loyalty. Because loyalty, like I said, is kind of a big fucking deal now. It's uh, it's not easy to take care of. Or not as easy to take care of as it used to be. So there might be something useful here later on. Fort defense, that could come in handy. Run culture happiness, slave output would be nice. Yeah, you can have my base metals. Uh, you have loyalty of characters plus two. I kind of want that as well. Uh, we've got religious advances giving us wrong culture group happiness, which would be pretty nice. Uh, we're trying to convert the culture here. Yeah, that's good. There's mostly Phoenicians, and I don't want that. You're giving me money. I'd rather you... Culture assimilate. I know it'd be faster to... Or it's usually faster to convert the religion first. Uh, but unfortunately, as uh, as Judea, we have negative 25% pop conversion speed, which is kind of painful. Not going to lie, don't like it. Uh, and then here, I'm also going to culturally assimilate as well. So the faster we can get these places culturally, you know, Jewish, the better. Uh, Hebrew is only 80%. Let's culturally assimilate there. And then finally, we've got this one, who also needs... Yeah, you're already on cultural assimilation. Good, 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 good. Nabatane's actually in the same group as me, so maybe I should have taken this. All that Nabatane's in the same group as Hebrew. Actually, there's some Hebrews in the south. I didn't even realize that. Jewish Hebrews. And we've got claim on South Phoenicia now. Like, ideally, what we do is also go to war and take out Lechian, expand to own all of this, and then go after Egypt. That'd be the ideal situation, but eh, it's probably not going to happen. Also, what I need to hope is that uh, Egypt gets a civil war or rebellion. That would be fucking amazing. Uh, so, trade hub developing. Do I want some citizens? Yes, I do. You are disloyal again. This is the guy that we gave some holdings to. Uh, you're a researcher. You can have some free hands. That's how it works. I have a son. Finally, have a son. Oh no, it's my second son. Uh, yeah, you can be called whatever the fuck you want then. Uh, my primary heir though needs a marriage before everyone becomes too old for him. Uh, so he would need some martial and some charisma. A. You might be thirty-seven, but you can still have the babies. Plus, uh, everyone's happy with that, so perfect. 
getting marriages has become a lot more important as well because that improves loyalty with the family uh, you can't really deny that it's a really good idea to you know work on it and and uh, get it exactly how you need it you know get the uh, the marriages with the head of families or you know just anything to get the loyalty up as much as you possibly can anything I can do here root out parents has never been a good idea uh, someone died oh, he's been murdered all right need a new Chancellor uh, let's go with Jeremiah Kalatha yeah, let's go with you. You want some free hands? There you go. Free hands. You can have some free hands. I'm just going to pump up the political influence gain as much as I can. It's almost going to be almost impossible to get people at 100 now. A scientific breakthrough. Uh, research points put negative 35% though. No thanks. Also, I don't like the idea of that either. Free hands makes you loyal again. Plus 20, it stays there at plus 20, but now he has, you know, a gain in corruption. Which increases the amount that I pay his wages. So, you know, double-edged sword. But I really couldn't do with a negative 35% to my, uh, my, my tech. That's, that's just impossible to deal with. So, as I guess it's the same with all of the Paradox games, but there are certain events that it's like... I know what the result is here. I know what I'm going to click. I don't even have to read it anymore. I don't have to consider it. It's just, oh, it's this event. That's the option. That's the one we go with. You'd be 13 ducats a month. Yeah, it's impossible as well. Phrygia loses opinion of me and I gain two slaves or I get two Hebrew citizens in Ascalon. That's pretty easy. No, 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 I don't want those marks. Be nice to be able to afford them though, eventually. More trade would go very nice towards that. Speaking of, we can trade here. And I can get... What do I want from here, though? I don't even know. There's quite a lot of slaves, so let's... Olives I can't get. Um, what else gives slave output? Leather. Let's go with some leather from... I think that was Armenia. Yes, it was. It was Armenia. So yeah, leather's going to give me an extra 2% slave output because it already had one. So I'm good with that. Alright, what do we want here? That popularity gain would be quite nice. So would the wrong culture happiness, but gain, I just, I need the money. I need the money to be able to fight uh, Egypt. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's just had, we just saw it immediately. This guy came in charge and he is not he doesn't have the blood of the lagadai which is interesting so he became a, a the new basilius of egypt he wasn't uh universally um desired though so a 36000 cohorts were just raised and they are disloyal to egypt right now so does that mean you're going to have a problem here Let's see, monthly tick. Crisis in Egypt, yep, we just saw it in full fucking time. Granary fire, oh, fuck you. Uh, Kalatha's just died. 0% of the power base is disloyal. I know that's not true. I know that's not true. Mm, let's go with Simon Manale. I know that's not true because he's just gained uh, 36 cohorts that are disloyal. Unless he's magically managed to make them loyal, like, almost immediately. I doubt that's the case, though. Oh, Biblos has actually declared war on uh, Phrygia as well. Has Phrygia got a revolt? Uh, it is the first rebellion against Phrygia. Yeah. Got another omen to do. I need the money. Plus the Freeman, again, are pretty good. Uh, we don't have any extra treasures yet. But we'll keep an eye on that. So yeah, if Biblos actually manages to take all of this land, that's going to be a, an easier conquest for me, I guess. You probably attack him right now. 
but we're going to wait until hopefully he takes this. Go on, Biblos. I believe in you. I believe in you. Biblos is a great uh, run as well. I might do another Biblos run at some point. Accept all the trades. Influenced by Phrygia. Uh, I get a couple of he uh, Hellenic pops, but for 10 research points, I'll take that. They'll convert. They'll convert in time. Yeah, we've got uh, 29 out of 47 pops right now. I do want to build here. Let's build an academy. That's a really good amount of research points bonus. Let's build an academy. Let's build... Mm, what do we else do we want to build? Maybe a library. Yeah, let's build a library and let's build a... Be a foundry? No, it's just, just that too for now. I don't want to spend too much money, like I said. A scandalous Dominus. Uh, I hate this event. I hate it so much. It's either you get corruption or you lose loyalty with a dude. I'm going to do the token inquiry and hope that suits us. Trial develops. We'll see how it goes. Don't care about your popularity or your um, your prestige. It's irrelevant to me. Scandal uh, closes. I get 50 ducats. That's okay. Uh, apparently it was an unfair trial, though, so the slaves are unhappy. I don't really care about the slaves' happiness, unless, you know, it's going to cost me money. Which probably will. Oh, their war has ended. Well, that's... A damn shame. But they did get their independence, and now Sidon is at war with Byblos. Uh, I saw that change from uh, friendship to a war, so it just, like, I guess Byblos is the one that declared the war on Arados. Arados is in a defensive alliance with Byblos. So yeah, these guys are now at war. Good luck, guys. I don't like that you're building a fort in Genesar. Obviously, he's going to want to take this land. There we go. Make these uh, heavy infantry cheaper. Remember as well, heavy infantry, their maintenance was 0.6. Now it's 0.51. So, yeah, totally, totally worth it. I'm going to start building some heavy infantry. Or maybe not. We'll wait a little bit longer. Phrygia does not have a truce with us right now. Not Phrygia, Egypt. Lemia, Lichian, and Thamud. Thamud's now our ally. Um, and so is Blemia. If you want to attack me, then uh, good luck. Also means I can't attack him. Uh, I'll have no friends. I'll just accept all the trades possible. We'll just try and build up so that we can be... Uh, safe, basically. It's a shame that there was nothing happening here with Phrygia. It'd be nice if they'd lost. Uh, Phrygia is a uh, quite, in, uh, quite a large war as well. With Armenia. The paphagonia siponian War. So they attacked Sinop and... Uh, or Paphagonia attacked Sinop. So that's a pretty huge war. I think Phrygia's got that, though. Unfortunately, uh, we've just gone and... Uh, Made a baby elsewhere, which is not good. Mm, 27 ducats for no problems. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Alright, well what I'm going to do is put a cut in here. I, uh, I, think, I think we're in a decent spot. I think we are in a decent spot. It could be better. Of course, we could have... Egypt still as an ally and not owning this land. We could use them as a sledgehammer against Phrygia. That would be great. Uh, but that's unfortunately not the case. So, yeah. We'll see what we can do.
But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, again, this is a brand new series. It's early on, so engagement is really handy. Um, so, uh, you know, likes and comments, they're, they're worth a lot. So, uh, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be lovely. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.